Caddy, if you're watching, there is nothing that is happening with these families here that represents love or action by PG&E here in the community of Corcoran. The community of Corcoran is now calling on the CEO of PG&E to come out and see the 50 homes that sit empty in the Fox Run neighborhood. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios has been covering the story relentlessly. She joins us now live in studio. And Sophia, we found out today, it seems like this is not the first time DR Horton has been accused of doing something like this. Yeah, Monty, that's correct. Two years ago, a news outlet in Florida was reporting a similar situation. This is the third day in a row we've covered this issue. With 50 homes in the Fox Run neighborhood in Corcoran that already were built, but families can't move in because they have no power. Now families and local petitions are calling out both companies for leaving 49 families without a home. At the end of the day, I'm just a father, a husband, that's trying to do everything possible to get his family in his house. Families in Corcoran are begging PG&E and DR Horton to come up with a solution to get power into their homes. The situation is absolutely terrible. We were promised to be moved in earlier of this year. We have now been waiting six months. I've been trying to get to the bottom of this issue, seeing as 50 brand new homes in the Fox Run neighborhood still have no power. Six months after families were promised, they could move in. PG&E says the problem is the complex is surrounded by private property and no easement or access ways were obtained to allow power lines to come into the development. Representatives for PG&E says it's because DR Horton built homes anyway, knowing this neighborhood was going to have this problem. But DR Horton has said the opposite in statements, saying it's made every effort possible to work with PG&E. If you ask PG&E, they've got a litany of reasons why it can't be. You ask the developer, there's a litany of reasons why it can't be. It's frustrating for the home buyers, local leaders, and now it's getting the attention from celebrities. These people behind me did all the right things. They saved their money. Their dream was to own a house. They did their part. The developer who should get some publicity for not being a very uh, a good developer in the sense that they dropped the ball. When we were searching online, we discovered there was a similar situation in Florida. Pensacola News Journal reported that a Chumukala area man put a pig pen on top of a driveway DR Horton built on his property without permission. Minus the pig pen, it's pretty similar. The home builder did not ask permission to put in easements before building the homes. Uh, we're tired of playing the blame game, blaming uh, PG&E, PG&E blaming the home developer. That's not getting these families into their homes. And the only solution PG&E and DR Horton told Kings County Supervisor Richard Valley is to rip up the pavement that's already set and done. So when you see these beautiful roads, curbs, gutters, and sidewalks, that means in order to get out there to connect to power, the developers told you got to tear all of this up. pg and &E should be ashamed of themselves. Their job is to make people happy. Well, they're not making anybody happy. They pick a bad time, and they pick the wrong community to mess with. Now, Monty, you and Liz did ask me yesterday if there's any legal actions from the home buyers. Today, one of the home buyers did say that they are looking into getting a lawyer because of this situation. I did reach out to DR Horton asking again to get an interview, but I have yet to hear back, Monty. Sophia, it is hard to imagine them being forced to wait on a home that you paid for or bought already and have no, no answer in sight as to when they're actually going to be able to get into it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, especially if they haven't been living there for six months to a year. All right. Supervisor Valley says in 2021, PG&E accepted over $91,000 from the developer to start putting the infrastructure in the Fox Run neighborhood to connect for power, but there is still no power. It remains to be seen what comes next and when. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.